I cannot believe I just started watching this game. No. <laughs> this is the most intense thing I've ever seen in my now life. It's, it's too old to be doing that. <laughs> Sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. All right, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we? It's time to clock in. Got the trusty bag in my hand once again, so you know what that means. This is gonna be a travel episode. We're going back on the road. The past month or so has been dominated by a sporting event known as the World Cup. Here in the States, we call it soccer. You might call it football where you're from. Now, before we leave, guys, I wanna do a quick tree check. They're continuing to grow. As you can tell, my neighbor is not budging whatsoever on the negotiations. Soon enough, these things will be towering so hot. Fuck your mother! World Cup. Argentina currently playing Croatia, beating the crap out of them, by the way. You should make He's... predictions right now and make a bet. Bet some money. Or are we running out of money? We are running out of cash, <laughs> dude. We've just been doing so much cash for this. Is that all right to do? I, I don't, I guess, man. It's your last day here. Actually, you know what? Do whatever the fuck you want. I cannot wait till you leave, bro. I can't fucking wait. <laughs> all right, we're going to Qatar. <laughs> Go! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Qatar Airways Q Suite. There's a chair. And a, a, there's a television. That's it. There's a chair and a television. They get a whole bedroom, right? Between yeah. the two of them. But the, yeah. Lower. What is this? The Ernest Hemingway section of the fucking public the library? library? What? 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 What's wrong with you guys? These people paid thirty thousand yeah. dollars for these fucking seats. They don't want to hear you screaming. Same as me, buddy. Who you said it? Oh yeah. But you're an ambassador. You're brand ambassador. <laughs> For Qatar Airways, and I'm doing my brand deal. Let's just get comfortable. Get out of my girlfriend's seat. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to see the ticket? It says Mike Malak 1F. Okay, ma'am, they're giving me some trouble. Do you think they can call airline security? <laughs> All jokes aside, it's an 18 hour flight to Qatar, and I'm going to be sitting next to Manager Jeff. I'm going to be asking him one question for the next 18 hours. Where's my fucking equity? We're like three hours into the flight. Logan took like six, seven edibles, bro. He's fucked up right now. Hey, let me say something. Let me say something. Get this f***ing camera out my face, bro. These are expensive seats, and you're f***ing bothering me and everyone else in this cabin. Asshole. Show me, show me your abs. <laughs> we are back in the Middle East. We're in Qatar right now. The beautiful city of Doha. Two weeks away from Christmas. <laughs> it's the middle of December, and it's like 90 degrees out right now. Make no mistake. The money out here is crazy. It's nuts. I never seen anything like it before, and that allows them to do crazy shit. I'm in the sauna right now. It's like 160 degrees, but let me show you the coolest thing at this entire hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the snow room. <gasps> Bro! And now a word from our sponsors. All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to the World Cup final, the greatest sporting event in the world. And it got me thinking, is there anything better in life than live events? Whether it's seeing your favorite band perform your favorite song live or seeing your favorite team score the winning touchdown, these are the type of things you remember forever. Luckily for you guys, today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. I've got the app right here on my phone and it's the easiest way to buy tickets online. There is so much stuff going on in the new year. Now would be the time to take your girl or the girl you want to be your girl to see SZA or Taylor Swift. Swift, or even take one of your homies to an NFL playoffs game. The app is super easy to use and SeatGeek even color codes their tickets. Green means it's a good buy, red means not so good, so you always know that you're getting a good deal. Tickets to live events make great gifts for the holidays, so there's never been a better time to download the SeatGeek app. All you have to do is click the link in the description below and use code Mike for $20 off your first set of tickets at SeatGeek. Click the link, use code Mike, and let's get back to the night shift, baby. It is a full-on snow cave, bro. Please don't hit me with it. Don't hit me with it. Don't hit me with it. A snow cave. Let's fucking go. Push-ups. Let's go. Easy. In At the least snow? 20. Let's go. Feet up there. Let's go. Feet up. Let's go. Easy. 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 All day. Face Five. in snow. Face in snow. Four. Four. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ah! Ah! This spa is insane, dude. Day one. What the? I am in my happy place. If you guys have followed the night shift, you know my dream is to be in a lazy river. And this is as close as it seems like it's probably gonna get on this trip. But I wanna say something deep really quick. If you're like me and you suffer with depression or anxiety or anything like that, try to mark times in your life where you're actually happy. Even if they're like really fleeting moments that like come and go for like 30 seconds at a time. And like right now, I'm in one of those moments. I'm like actually happy. I don't know what it is about water that just makes me so happy. David, this is another good moment for one of those Zen meditation sessions. 
Give it 10 seconds. 10. This evening we will be going on a bit of a journey to a super yacht driven by none other than Post Malone. But this evening we'll be celebrating, celebrating the love that we have for each other and celebrating the love that we have for the game of football. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Post Malone, Super Yacht. Let's do it. All right, hit the music, DJ. Let's go! All right, hit the music, DJ. Monsoon, hit the music, please. All right, as you can tell right now, we're on a massive yacht. I don't have my shoes on, look. Everybody has to wear slippers, but luckily I'm joined by DJ Ruckus. He's getting set up right now to spin for the rest of the evening for these lovely, and just like that, and just like that, my man is back in the building. A lot of people wearing Balenciaga in here. Oh my, am I in the book? You're about to <laughs> Yes. Let's go! Yo. This all feels like a dream. I swear to God, I don't believe this is you. You're not you. You get one chance. <laughs> you get one chance right now on this multi-hundred million dollar yacht in the middle of Qatar to say anything you want to the entire Night Shift audience. What Woo. the fuck are you gonna say, bro? My name is, I'm from Lebanon. Oh, Lebanon. Let's go, Lebanon! Oh. Yes! Here we go, into the great expanse where the desert sands meets the desert sky. One worry I have is we get stranded out there and spend the next 50 years of our lives searching for a mirage or some sort of water drink. We'll see what happens. We'll be bringing you guys along with us. Stop. Watch this burn out. comes up yeah. through the desert. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. It's a uh, special place. You do not see it in other places in the world. Yeah. Uh, by the way, 5G in the desert. 5G in the desert, bro. I was wondering how I had said this. Yes, so only in Qatar. And just like that, we are back in Doha. First of all, look at this right now. We're at a place right now called, is it the Diplomatic Club? Is that what it's called? Only for diplomats. You have to be invited here. You can't show up. You can't buy a membership. Right behind me, can you just show that group a little bit? There's a man by the name of Ronaldinho. If you follow football at all, you may know who that is. Sitting right there on that couch, just hanging out. And we're about to go on jet skis. A lot of times on this channel, guys, I always check in with you. This is one of those like, oh shit moments. Out in the ocean, Doha World Cup finals. Crazy, life is weird. And if you're sitting somewhere right now in a bad spot, thinking that you'll never be in a good spot, just remember where I once was. Look where manager Jeff is right now. <laughs> Anything can happen, yo. Just keep pushing, keep grinding. Also, I should say this, Doha's awesome. I don't know what it's like when the World Cup isn't going on, but right now it's fucking, it's amazing, bro. Day 653,947 in Qatar here in Doha. Say something in Mexican for the Mexican audience. Uh, aquí estamos en Qatar por el Mundial, viendo la final. Vamos a ver a Messi levantar esa copa. Basically what he's saying is we're here in Qatar, we're going to the World Cup Finals tonight, and we hope Messi wins the cup. Yes, sir. Was that right? Yes, sir. Was that actually right? Yeah. Let's fucking go, dude. This hotel's been crazy, by the way. But they have something else that a lot of other hotels don't have. So basically, it's this thing. Commercial grade massive wave machine. I don't know how I feel about this thing because it is the World Cup final set. And I, if I fall and break my femur, that would suck, bro. It looks like we have enough cushion to fly if, as long as you catch yourself. At one point in my life, I was quite the athlete. I know it's hard to believe now because my legs are the size of toothpicks. And I have flat feet and broken ankles. But at one point, this would have been easy work for me. I'm gonna bodyboard first just to get a better feel for it. <laughs> <laughs> I still got a little bit of my old age. When you're not good at this shit, you can't make it look cool. 
and that sucks because you look super squirrely. It was very unstable. Unstable, like your legs are super stiff. We are walking in to the 2022 World Cup Finals. The stadium's crazy. The stadium's are awesome. Can't Honestly, even get it in. <laughs> there was like seven different stadiums and this one is just for the finals. I already feel like I don't deserve to be here, to be honest with you. Because I know there's a lot of people watching this right now that are football fans their whole life and would be killed to be here. And maybe will one day. But I'm excited for it and pumped. France versus Argentina. We were going straight to our seats and David's, <laughs> David's yeah, let's do it. Bro. What's up, there's Logan here too. Ah, oh, he fell off a cliff, bro. I always see the vlog. Appreciate wow. you, bro. Uh, thank thank you. you, bro. Stay clocked in, man. We were walking to our seats, like rushing our seats. He goes, Mike, there's baklava. Look at this setup, bro. <laughs> this one's I'll give juicy. It a, you gotta get rated. Look how juicy it is. Oh bro. my God. Incredible. <laughs> Yo, the stadium is electric. I've been to Super Bowls. I've been to a lot of really cool games, but I've never not been able to hear shit. How much do you think these seats cost? $60,000. Oh! Oh! Unless the ball goes in the net, I don't know what's happening. All I saw was one guy trip the other guy and everybody started flipping out. They just found Messi in the box and Messi's gonna score right now. Bro. Oh, he gets a kick with the middle. that he's the GOAT and then they scored. He's the GOAT. I cannot believe I just started watching this game. No. <laughs> this is the most intense thing I've ever seen in my now life. Getting... We're going to penalty kicks right now to decide the champion. Like this is insane, bro. Okay, a uh, ton of research went into finding the right burger here in Doha. I gotta say this right off the bat, because I'm already watching what you're doing. <laughs> Let me see this. It's not David, dude. It okay. is. I'm, a Jer I'm the German, David. No, <laughs> no one's gonna believe you, bro. <laughs> yeah, shit. David went home. He's in Hamburg. I already know Kevin's gonna be hitting a lot of pop zooms on this one. The Vendome Mall here in Doha. Show them what we're looking at right now, bro. Like, careful. I don't even know how to describe it, massive. And what they're doing here in Doha is they're building a ton of infrastructure for the future. But right now, there's no people. There's not enough people. Even during the World Cup, found this place called Milk Bar. But it looks almost like a Shake Shack. They've got chicken tenders, they've got fries. Uh, we're gonna get... We'll use the phone instead. Uh, we don't have a permit to be shooting with a camera here in Doha, but that's fine, no big deal. Cause the iPhone looks incredible these days. Double patty, American cheese, pickles, a special sauce on this beautiful buttery potato bun. I have not in the Middle East seen a burger that was this closely resembling what we get in LA with this crispy mm -hmm. smash on it. Give it a shot, here we go. Three, two, one. Wow. You lied. Really? I'm dead serious. I was not expecting this. The cheese and this sauce together and the pickle is, mm. I've never had anything like this before in how light it is. The meat tastes really good. It's got a great flavor to it. The American cheese, as you said, is phenomenal. The sauce is phenomenal. And this bun, see how it's a little bit thinner? You see how thin the bun is on it? The fries, like a little thin shoestring. I guess these are shoestrings. They're very good. Insane. They're very good. They're not very hot but they're still good. Perfect shopping food. Yeah. Like you could eat this, then go to Cartier or mm -hmm. Dior. Yeah. If you <laughs> have that kind of money. I don't know who does, cause I don't even, but I don't know how many of these locations there are in the Middle East. I would assume there's a few of them. I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say Milk Bun Doha. I'm gonna give it an 8.8. .8. Oh, this is a really, really, man. really good burger. I'm shocked. <laughs> in the words of the great I Show Speed, World Cup. 
World Cup. What an absolute trip. The Middle East is going crazy right now. I can't imagine that there's a cooler place. This is what, the second trip now in the past couple months. We went to Riyadh. We just explored Qatar now. We'll probably do some more stuff in Dubai and some of the other countries over the next year or so. I don't know if it's just because of the amount of money uh, that they have to spend on facilitating an experience for people that come out here for tourists and guests or the culture or what it is exactly. The people obviously are, are so insanely nice. We're coming down to the end of the year, the end of 2022. It's been a, it's been a crazy year, but I wanted to, to take a second before I don't get a chance to this year and say thank you to you guys. The reason I get to do a lot of this cool stuff is because I have an audience of people that support me. I don't know that creators talk about that enough. Um, the idea that that audience is, is so powerful and, and attractive to, to, to hosts and to sponsors and to all these people that make this kind of stuff happen. And so once again, I, I really do, in a, in a very serious and meaningful way, I wanna say thank you to you guys for supporting everything that I do, this channel, Impulsive, the book, um, you know, all my socials, and, and just being so awesome to me through the ups, the downs, the thicks and thins. Um, obviously, as you watch this video, we've got a ton of stuff going on, a ton of drama, and a ton of um, stuff that I probably don't have anything to do, but it somehow affects me um, just by way of being around it. As I said, the year is almost over. Happy holidays to everybody watching this. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah. Getting ready for the new year, getting ready for 2023, probably doing some, some new stuff here on the channel. As far as this World Cup, Doha, Qatar, uh, episode of the night shift is concerned. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us uh, And I will see you guys on the next episode of the night shift. Thanks so much for working late with us. We're clocking out. Peace The night shift keeps me young I know there's a lot of young people watching it and I'm I'm gonna try to do my absolute best for you guys today Fuck <coughs> Fuck <coughs> 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 Mike is doing what Logan did like five years ago. You know, that's what I said. It's wild to it's like, watch. It's like, it's like the vlogging. It's wild to watch. <laughs> yeah, wait till five years from now when I have a prime <laughs> hydration company. Hey, um, Nina and I were just talking. You're making us pretty uncomfortable. Would you mind leaving? <laughs> that's racist. I'll leave right now, but take one bite of this apple for me. If you throw it and I catch it like in my mouth and my teeth. Like, Let me give one like, last I... message to Nina. Flugen, dugen, schlugen, flugen. <laughs> A fluke, tugen, flugen, flugen. That means meet me in the igloo later. We'll have some Denmarkian foods. <laughs> <laughs> Little desert oasis. Grassy knoll, if you will. Is it real grass? Oh, looks fucking real to me. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm 37, I'm 37. Please, 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 everyone please take their seats. So if you're here, try to do, to do, do high it. I think that's how they control like the... I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> and my <laughs> night got even better when that random adult actress came and threw her I feel like that was the longest blur in that shit. <laughs> <laughs>